Wendy Wood, Good Habits, Bad Habits, The Science of Making Positive Changes That Stick. Embark on a journey to unlock the power of habits and ye good habits, bad habits, the science of making positive changes that stick, by Wendy Wood. Delve into the underappreciated role habits play in our lives, as you learn the difference between habits and conscious mental processes. Acknowledge just how habits influence our behaviors and how they operate below the level of conscious thought. Explore the importance of repetition in forming habits, environmental factors in habit formation, and using rewards to consolidate newly formed habits. Unraveling our habitual lives. Our daily lives revolve around habits, from morning routines to exercise regimens, influencing our behavior far more than we realize. How we start our days and the decisions we make throughout are deeply rooted in habitual actions. We often don't choose to do these actions consciously, as habits operate below our conscious minds. When we're involved in decision-making processes, we're at the conscious level, fully aware of our thoughts. In contrast, habits act as unconscious repetitions of previous actions we've performed without much intentional thought. Many of our daily activities, whether positive or negative, are governed by habits. The impact of habits on our lives is substantial, but we shouldn't forget that they're malleable. With understanding and effort, we can change our undesirable habits while fostering healthier ones by delving deep into how habits function and influence us. Habit over self-control. Many New Year's resolutions end in failure, not because of a lack of willpower or self-discipline, but because we overlook the vital role of habits. Research indicates that habit formation is actually the key factor in achieving goals, with self-control serving as an initial catalyst. To find success in pursuing resolutions, it's essential to focus on breaking bad habits and forming new ones, rather than solely relying on self-discipline to guide every action. Waking up on January 1st, it's easy to feel optimistic and determined about our New Year's resolutions. However, for most of us, that enthusiasm eventually wanes, and we abandon our goals altogether. But what causes this common failure? The issue lies not in our self-discipline levels but in an overlooked yet powerful element, habits. Habit, in fact, has a greater influence on our actions compared to self-control. We often focus on harnessing willpower, as it seems like the ultimate conscious driver of change. However, even amid ample self-discipline, success remains elusive. To truly change our lifestyles for the better, it is crucial to concentrate on breaking detrimental habits and creating beneficial ones. Supporting this idea is a study on teenage meditation retreat participants. Although initially, they all seemed to demonstrate high self-control levels, the research discovered that those who achieved their meditation goals had one significant difference, meditation quickly became an automatic habit for them. Thus, it revealed that habits, and not self-discipline, were the key to success. This finding contradicts the traditional belief about self-control. It is not about resisting temptation constantly, instead, it is most useful during the initial stages of habit formation. Once a good habit is established, the focus on self-discipline becomes secondary, making habit the prime factor in achieving our goals. So, let's shift our mindset when it comes to New Year's resolutions and other personal goals. Remember, it's not about painstakingly relying on self-control for every step, it's about using it to kickstart the formation of positive habits that will ultimately lead us to success. Harness Environmental Forces for Habits have you ever noticed how you're nudged to watch the next episode of a TV show on streaming platforms? This phenomenon is called a driving force, which is an aspect of our environment that influences our behavior. Similarly, understanding and utilizing driving forces and their counterparts, restrictive forces, can help us modify our habits. By making small changes in our surroundings, we can become more mindful of our behavior and promote healthier practices. If you're familiar with binge-watching on streaming platforms like Netflix or Hulu, you've experienced the impact of driving forces, an element within your environment that encourages you to act in a certain way. 
But how do driving forces apply to our habits? They showcase how our environment can dictate the habits we develop. Kurt Lewin, a German-American psychologist, introduced the concept of driving forces. He believed that human behavior is determined by two primary forces, internal, such as fears and desires, and external, the influence of our surroundings. Conversely, we also encounter restrictive forces that discourage specific behavior. For example, laws prohibiting smoking in public spaces act as restrictive forces discouraging people from smoking. To reshape your habits, harness the power of these external forces. If you're struggling with focus due to constant phone checking, place your phone away from you and bury it under other objects. The inconvenience will deter frequent distractions, allowing you to concentrate better. Likewise, use driving forces to adopt healthier lifestyles. To improve your eating habits, display a well-stocked fruit bowl prominently on your table. The easy access will encourage healthier choices. Remember, making your environment an ally is crucial in forming and maintaining good habits. By understanding and leveraging driving and restrictive forces, you can cultivate a space that promotes personal growth and success. Repeat to cultivate habits. Developing habits is a product of consistency and repetition, with no fixed number of days required for one to become automatic. It takes time and conscious effort, but the investment is worth it, as the old habits lose their grip and new desirable behaviors begin to feel natural. In the journey of establishing new habits, effortlessly integrating good habits and curbing bad ones into your lifestyle requires a consistent pattern of action. While it might not take only 21 days to form a habit, one key component stands out, the importance of repetition. Though there isn't an exact number of repetitions needed for an action to transform into a habit, it's the constant, conscious repetition of that action day after day which eventually leads to habit formation. The time it takes to form a habit differs greatly among individuals and is influenced by the complexity of the habit itself. Researchers have attempted to determine a general timeline for habit formation. Dr. Pippa Lally from the University of London conducted a study where students aimed to adopt new, healthy habits and reported daily on their progress. It was found that it took just under two months for daily healthy drinks to become automatic, about nine weeks for healthy eating, and an average of 91 days for exercise to solidify as a habit. Although forming a habit could be a time-consuming process, it's an investment worth pursuing, considering the lasting nature of habits. This is especially true when the desired habits conflict with pre-existing tendencies, such as a new gym routine clashing with habitual TV watching. Initially, it can be challenging to embrace the unfamiliar behavior over an old, ingrained response. However, with persistence, a gradual reversal occurs, whereby the desired behavior starts feeling natural and the old habit loses its grip. Unfortunately, there's no strategy to bypass or expedite this process. But the simplicity of the method offers solace. By continually practicing the desired behavior day after day, it's only a matter of time before the habit takes root and prevails. Harness rewards to solidify habits. To form lasting habits, it's essential to experience a sense of reward. Uncertain rewards are more effective than predictable ones, and timing is crucial. Find pleasure in the behavior you're cultivating to strengthen the habit loop. There's a secret ingredient to making habits grow and thrive, rewards. The power of rewards in habit forming is supported by neuroscientific research. Dopamine, a neurotransmitter tied to the experience of rewards, plays a pivotal role in creating habits. When you receive a reward, a surge of dopamine in your brain makes the experience memorable, allowing the desired habit to establish more quickly. The vital message to note is that you need to experience a sense of reward to build a habit successfully. However, it's essential to choose the right kind of reward when nurturing new habits. Astonishingly, uncertain rewards work best, superseding predictable ones in effectiveness. It feels counterintuitive, but studies support the effectiveness of uncertain rewards. For instance, students playing a challenging game were more accurate and willing to play longer when the points they could earn were determined by the roll of a dice. Predictable rewards had the opposite effect, 
causing performance and willingness to falter. The allure of uncertain rewards is one reason people constantly check their phones. Most notifications constitute noise, unimportant emails, reminders, and memos. However, the possibility of a genuinely entertaining or attractive message keeps us hooked. To make a habit stick, incorporate an uncertain reward. Timing is another crucial element when considering rewards. The reward should immediately follow the action for effective habit formation. Long-term rewards, such as sleeping in the next morning or enjoying a chocolate bar the following day, may be motivational but won't successfully root the habit due to the delay. Since timing is vital, it's beneficial to find rewards intrinsic to the behavior itself. This means finding enjoyment in the action you're trying to develop into a habit. For example, if you want to eat healthily, select the most delicious healthy meals. If exercise is your goal, opt for an enjoyable activity like football with close friends. In conclusion, to etch your new habit into permanence, intertwine rewards with the habit-forming process. By selecting uncertain and timely rewards that bring joy in the activity itself, you'll solidify habits that become an enduring part of your life. As you conclude your journey through good habits, bad habits, you will better understand just how much habits control our lives. Grasp the vital role that repetition plays in habit formation and how consistency yields positive results. Additionally, remember that your environment can shape the habits you develop, and that sometimes you must even employ driving and restrictive forces to alter your lifestyle. Finally, recognize the significance of rewards in habit formation, as they make the experience memorable and encourage habits to stick. With these insights, you are better equipped to utilize habits for successful self-improvement within your own life.